Hi guys, it's January 1st, 2021. Oh, my hair didn't, didn't stay. Oh well, Tiffany was messing with my hair. Morning guys, it's, it's January 1st, 2021. We made it through 2020. Now we got, now we got the, uh, what's it called? The aftermath, the cleanup. The cleanup of 2020. Just because it's 2021 doesn't mean like everything's gone. We still got a lot of, a lot of work to do. But uh, yeah, we did, we were here. We didn't vlog anything last night because, I don't know. It just, the, the vibe wasn't there. We just, we, we, weren't have, we weren't doing anything. We weren't having any like fun. We were just kind of just chilling. Honestly, it felt like we were just waiting for the ball to drop so we could go to bed. <laughs> like that's what it felt like. I don't know, it just, I, I don't know man. It, it's a 2020 New Year's Eve, right? It, it, just like Christmas was different this year. Uh, Thanksgiving was different. Um, that was probably most the most normal holiday we had this year. Everything else is just kind of like, to New Year's Eve just makes sense for it to be different as well. So today's plan is to take down the Christmas tree and all the decorations, uh, you know, because Tiffany has a ton of Christmas decorations. They're literally across the entire house and even upstairs around the kids' bedroom and um, whatnot. Didn't really do any decorations outside this year. Uh, definitely we'll be looking forward to that next year, but nevertheless, uh, it's cleanup time. So I'm not, doing, I'm not sure what we're doing for food uh, this weekend. Yeah, I keep, I, I, it feels like it's a Saturday. It feels like it's a Saturday, Sunday, but it's actually Friday. So we're starting the vlog today on Friday. Most likely you'll get a whole weekend vibe going. So start it off with cleanup. All right, spent the last couple hours doing some work. Uh, it's a new year, resetting a lot of things, checking up on things. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a data guy, so I like to look at analytics. I was looking at analytics for the year. Uh, but it's lunchtime now, it's one o'clock, and Garen's dad made menudo yesterday and brought some over, and so I'm eating menudo, and I'm very excited about it. Because I've already, I've already like sipped on the broth, the broth is fantastic, so now I'm actually ready to eat the soup soup. You guys don't know, menudo is a very traditional uh, Mexican soup made with hominy and tripe. I'll let you Google that. Um, but uh, with the restaurant that Tiff and I used to work at, they served menudo uh, every Sunday and New Year's Day. Yeah, New Year's Day. No matter what day of the week, it was, no, no matter what day of the week it was, they had menudo. So menudo is a very traditional New Year's Day. It's also supposed to be good for hangovers, which I don't know the science behind that, or if it's just a old wise tale. Like, you know, it's good for the soul. It's soup, whatever. But yeah, traditional New Year's Day hangover food. That's also why they served it on Sundays. Bloody Marys and menudo. All right, the anti decorations are on. We're backing it out. Filling up all the slots, mm -hmm. all the ornaments, all the totes are back. So we're just going around the house. Like I said, Tiffany's got stuff all over the place. She finds stuff every year and it just adds to the collection. Pots, napkins, little trinkets and ornaments, things for the kitchen. Look at all this kitchen stuff that we've been using. Linens, blankets, even like stuff for dog, pillows. So we just start stuffing them, even our clothes. She, she packs up all of our shirts and pajamas and onesies. Wrapping paper? That's all the wrapping paper, yeah. This isn't as fun as putting it together, is it? Nope. It never is. We have, do we have a place for this guy? I'm one of the uh! Oh, he left, by, left behind some snow. Just throw it in there. Just throw it in there, Bryce? All right, we're done with the uh, the breaking down for the day. Christmas tree's gone from the corner. You'll see that putting things back in back where they go. But we still have all the totes to organize, and then eventually put in the garage. We'll do that tomorrow. It's Friday night, even though it feels like a Saturday Sunday. It's not. It's Friday, uh, which means we're doing pizza because that's what I wanted for dinner, and we didn't have any plans. So. Grab some uh, pizzas from a local pizza shop. And here's what we're looking at. This is wood fired brick oven. My favorite. This is Tiffany's mushroom sausage, uh, mozzarella cheese. That's Sierra's. Six different cheeses on that one. Also known as a formaggio. Let's see. There's mine. I've got the alfresco, arugula, prosciutto, balsamic vinegar, mozzarella, fresh tomatoes, uh, roasted red peppers, and Bryce. Al salmon, capers, caramelized onions, salmon. Oh yeah. oh yeah, get it, boy. Saturday morning in the kitchen. Sears off the volleyball. Uh, we're not there this this weekend. All the parents taking uh, taking turns going to watch the girls play. It's three three uh, spectators per team. So 
we all are uh, rotating, taking turns on going, so we won't be able to watch volleyball this weekend. But a couple of parents are streaming it live, so we are able to watch the games from someone's phone. So that's been nice. Watch the first uh, the first game. Uh, they lost, unfortunately. Uh, Tiff and I are in the kitchen, we're making some ribs. So we're gonna be putting some uh, baby back ribs on the smoker. So I got those um, resting, some salt. I think this is, what is this, pineapple juice? Butter, what is this? Um, apple juice, mustard, and maple oh. syrup. <clears throat> I was way off, okay. <laughs> and we're working on a rub here. Yep, homemade rub. Homemade rub. Also, update on the arrow garden. Look at this, we got basil, Thai basil, and thyme already sprouting. And then what is this, dill? Dill sprouted. Almost all of them have sprouted already. It's awesome. We have fresh herbs here in no time. Rubbing the meat. So what's in here? Oh, all kinds of stuff. And I see brown sugar. <laughs> brown sugar, celery salt, smoked paprika, uh, pepper salt, garlic powder, onion powder, cinnamon, cayenne pepper. I think that's it. Oh, ground mustard. Three hours later, we pulled from the smoker. We're gonna rub them down with this glaze that Tiffany just made. I'll let her explain what's in it later. And then we're gonna wrap it in foil, put it back on the smoker for another two hours. It's the three, two, one method. And there they are. Six hours later. Three, two, one, yep, six hours later. They look tender. It's like, oh, I think they were starting to fall apart. This one fell. You're oh, being yeah. dad now. What? You're being dad. You got to look at that. Yep. Ooh. Falling off the bone. I'm excited. <laughs> so, it smells good. It smells like we're at Dylan's. Sierra's digging in first. Somebody played volleyball all day is ready for an early dinner. Kind of worked out good. Yep. It was about four o'clock. How'd your day end up? Uh, we ended one and two. So the first two games, the first game was not very good at all. The scores weren't very good. But the first game we kind of pulled together more, but it was also a team that wasn't as amazing. So we pulled it together, barely. <laughs> <laughs> we got the win at the end. But so you ended up third in your pool? Yeah, which we went in third, so I think that means we, we kind of just stay. stay. So that's good, we don't want to go down, because it gets really hard to go back up when right. you start down. So. So on the way home from uh, Lowe's today, get more pellets for the smoker. I went to the P.O. box because I had another package to get delivered. Uh, and this was from uh, my buddy and moderator Armageddon Knight, aka Justin. Uh, so I got some Christmas gifts for the family. So Bryce got a powered USB hub because he's always talking about his uh, USB problems, both his PlayStation and his uh, PC. So it'll be interesting to see if this will actually work. I mean, this will work on his PlayStation, I don't know. But at the very least, he'll have a powered USB hub for his PC. Uh, he got me a John McClane pop vinyl from the movie Die Hard, which is my favorite Christmas movie. And for the girls, a little cake decorating set. This thing is loaded too, look at this. More cake pans, a turntable, cardboard, flags, all the utensils. Because Sierra loves baking. Uh, very sweet. So I really appreciate that, thank you Arma. You didn't have to do that man, but really, really appreciate that. All right, next we've got a G Fuel package, and it looks like it's the Blue Ice Collector's Box. So uh, G Fuel's been been uh, rebranding some flavors. Uh, like, I don't, know if, I don't know if I vlogged this. I know I, I always show everything on stream. That's where everything goes. But the most recent collector's box that I got was for Cyberpunk. When Cyberpunk got released a, couple, uh, a few weeks ago, the Cyber Punch, which is Fruit Punch, one of my favorite flavors, it just got rebranded to Cyber Punch, which I love. They had the Shaker Cup, with the Cyberpunk-like theme. Love it. That's a keeper for sure. So yeah, so this is uh, this is Blue Ice, been rebranded, inspired by the U2s. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what that is. But that's that's the new collector's box. So here's the rebranded tub, and just Blue Ice, which Blue Ice is good, but I definitely prefer the sour Blue Chug Rug more. And instead of a shaker cup, it's actually a vinyl figure of this character here. I don't know if it's a show or a comic, a web comic or video game I really don't know there it is little doggy sitting chilling now I have to look up who this is so apparently this is an exclusive uh, collectible just for G Fuel uh, boop is his name he's got an Ethernet 
tail and he's like the design of him is like ice that's why it's it was it was just specifically designed for the blue ice uh collaboration but yeah so apparently u2s is a collectible like a collectible um company they make all kinds of little collectible figures most of them are internet like memes or, or people that are known on the internet um video games there's, there's a streamer one stone mountain 64 i know that dude um there's all kinds of cool stuff some video game stuff okay so cool now i know i i, I didn't know now i know update on house stuff boring adult things hung up this coat rack by the door for leashes purses coats that sort of thing earlier this week i Changed out all the face plates along the walkway. All the face plates now have LED lights that are light sensitive. So, like that one's off right now. Oh, look, see, whoop, block it, turns on. Isn't that cool? Whoop, 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 whoop. Just makes things a little easier at night. We have night lights. And with the removal of all the Christmas stuff, we put everything else back in its place. End table with the lamp, plant. We're losing the little guy, the little guys. But the top the tall one's doing good. This snake plant's still doing good. And Tiffany got a new rug, which we've had it for a couple weeks, but we weren't able to put it all the way where it's supposed to be because of the Christmas tree, but now it's where it should be. So living room's coming together, guys. It's coming together. Uh, sometime in the next few months, definitely want to be looking at new couches because I think we need a new couch. I want, to, I, want to, I want something with an ottoman, something with, I can put my legs out. This chair, this table sucks to put my feet on. Good morning, happy Sunday, back at it. Uh, we just finished up eating some uh, leftover ribs from last night, Bryce had leftover pizza from Friday night, and now it's time to get, get to work. Uh, we already were watching Sierra's volleyball games, day two of the tournament, this is the seating. Uh, they went one and two yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, one and two yesterday. Today they've one and one? They're one and one today, they got one more game to go. Um, so it's been interesting sitting on the couch watching her on a computer screen. I, I tweeted earlier. I said, it's, I guess this must be what like it feels like to watch your kids play college sports or pro sports, right? You can't go to every game, so you watch your kid on TV. So, so that's kind of cool. Like it makes me feel a little better that at least you'll be able to watch her play and that she's actually able to play a, a volleyball season so far. So we'll uh, we'll see how the season goes. I think we get to go to one game, so we'll get to go to one tournament this this year. And I'll be the one streaming that. First order of business is I got to pull all the plants out to water and give a little bit of sunshine because there's not a lot of light. And also I need to trim some of these guys. Some uh, brown tips on a few of them. I'm going to plant these guys overdue. And I think I'm going to transplant this guy into a bigger pot. Love my money tree. And my gold poinsettia is still doing good. Tiffany thought I was going to kill it. I said, nope, not today. Next order of business. We're gonna pull out the new shop vac that I got for Christmas and we're going to clean out the smoker. I uh, usually try to do it after three long smokes to uh, you know suck out all the ash and everything to make sure it stays nice and clean and doesn't catch on fire. And Bryce is so graciously volunteered to help me. Yeah. Yay. Got the smoker taken apart. Here's what it looks like inside. This is why we have to clean it out. You can see how, how thick the, the soot has gotten in certain areas. Like I said, two or three good smokes i like to try and keep this cleaned out and then we're actually going to degrease a lot of this because it just needs good cleaning S stuff gets all over it it's a dirty job all right boy get to it Gotta hit the big switch hit the big switch <laughs> We're doing some potting. So this is a pot that I got for Christmas from one of my awesome community members. They had it hand painted and ordered and shipped to me. So I put a good old money tree in there for good luck. And then we got this month's, uh, or last month's um, plant from the house plant subscription box I do. So I'm putting that in that one. And then this was two months ago that never got around to potting. Not really crazy about this one. It's kind of boring, but nevertheless, you know, that's kind of like a succulent. So we'll throw that in a pot. And then these are some um, cuts that I've been uh, saving. And I'm gonna put that finally into this one. That'll be uh, something in the windowsill. That's all I got so far. This month's subscription plan will be here on Wednesday. So I'll have that one. And then I'm gonna do a uh, kind of like a pot count, if you will, and figure out how many uh, empty pots I have. And then I plan on going sometime this week, maybe next week, 
maybe next weekend, uh, to a, uh, a plant shop that I found. Uh, I was Googling some house shops, not nothing nearby where I live, but definitely worth the drive to go out there and then just make a round of buying a bunch of new plants. So things that I can't find like at Home Depot and Lowe's basically is what I'm looking for. So pretty excited about that, looking forward to that. Definitely vlog it. And here is Tiffany's, is it chuck roast? Is that you consider it? Yeah. Chuck roast with chipotle peppers. Smells amazing. She shredded that up beautifully. We're gonna make some quesadillas. Got all the fresh fixings right here. Look at our sprouts. That's Thai basil right there. Got some thyme right there. The uh, other basil, getting all sweaty. The dill. That one's growing fast. The only thing that's not popped yet is the parsley. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Is that your quesadilla dance? It's my, my quesadilla dance? <laughs> it's, it's the I'm hungry and this looks amazing dance. I pretty much make it every night you cook. Let's be real. Oh yeah. Green onions. And some green chilies. This is gonna be a fat quesadilla. The fattest quesadillas. There we go. I'm gonna do the, the fold. 